Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, let's do some work on the image that's here on our screen. It's a great looking shot with nice looking subjects that are looking directly at us in the camera, but it has many glaring issues that we can take care of here today with the help of AI. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully the result is going to be incredible. So before we get started, make sure that you like this video, then subscribe to my channel because that's going to encourage me to make more videos. And with that, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get rid of this frame action that we have, but I also want to increase the size of the canvas at the same time. So I'm going to do this in a couple of steps. First, I'm going to crop up to here and I'm going to crop down below the damage here and bring it in on the sides here as well. We'll do this as round number one. And then I'm going to just give us some more canvas to work with. We'll give them a little bit more headroom. And then I'm going to bring it down something like so. And let's generate some fill. Let's see what our options are. That looks great, actually. Number two, also not bad. There's some blemishes, blemishes on his shirt. And number three is also usable. But number one, I think, looks great. Bit of an issue here with his arm being quite dark, though. Let's try another set. So that is also usable. Number two looks pretty good. And number three, that's a no for me. So out of these, I'm going to take this second one here and say, fantastic. It's looking great. So now we have a more complex looking complete image. I'm going to go ahead and quickly flatten this. And the next thing that I want to do is get in here and clean up these marks on his face. So I'm going to use the remove tool. We will reduce the size of the brush significantly here and I'm going to get all of them at once. Let's zoom in a bit here and see some of these are going to be natural spots on his face so there are choices to make. I think that this one is too prominent. Now on her face there's really nothing that stands out. Let's check higher up on the image here. It's looking not bad. There's a bit of a spot here. And then we've got some white spots here. Might as well take care of them. Other than that, I think we're looking not too bad in terms of the dirt and specs. So that's great. So let's just have a final look here. Great. We'll accept that. Great. So now they are all cleaned up. At this point, I think that we can go ahead and take this image. I'm going to quickly export it as a PNG and I want to increase the resolution. So let's go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to jump over here to the Tencent Arc GFPG GAN converter. We'll open this image up here. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Here's our image. So there are some options here. We can choose version 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, or one that's called Restore Former. And in this case, I'm going to take version 1.4. They say it's more details and better identity. So let's submit that and see what we get. Let's have a close inspection. So it has softened the faces significantly in a way that I think is actually unnatural. I'm going to go back here and try version 1.3 and let's submit that. This looks better. Let's have a closer look. This to me looks better. They still have a bit of a porcelain doll look to them, but it's not quite as unnatural as the other. So let's take this save image as, and we'll just save it quickly here. Great. So now we can open this image up. And we do have many more pixels to work with at this point. We're 2112 by 2148. Fantastic. So at this point, I'm going to get into colorizing. And I'm going to first change it to black and white to get rid of any of the color information that is there. Then I want to brighten things up, actually, because this side of his face, their faces, is looking quite dark. So I think that I'm going to go in here to adjustments, shadows and highlights. And that is looking way too washed out, too blown out, but I can increase or decrease the amount of shadow. So I'm going to decrease it slightly here. Let's see before and after, before, after, not too bad. And then highlights, if I increase this 
You'll see, look at their foreheads, for example. You can see how it increases the amount of tone in those areas. So I'm going to just give it a little bit more because that can help with colorizing. And there, I think that that brightens things up. Doesn't look unnatural though, so we'll accept that. And now I'm going to export it again as a PNG. Save it, replace that, sure, that'd be fine. And now I'm going to jump over here to Palette FM. With Palette, we can colorize the image with quite a few different variations all at once. So let's get in here, upload our image. And the first thing that it's going to do, of course, is analyze the image. And then it's going to apply what it calls its base palette. We'll see what this looks like. That looks quite good, actually. The skin tone is nice, but there's some multi-tone tinting happening in her hair, which I really don't like. So let's try a few other settings here. We have Vivid Natural. We'll get that going. Let's try Outdoor Vibes, since they are outdoors. And then there are some that often generate some natural looking skin tones here with Vintage Charm and Ambient Historic. So here's Ambient Historic. First off, that doesn't look too bad at all. There's a bit of toning happening down here in a shirt that I don't like. That looks very clean. I like that actually. Vintage Charm. So, so far to me, this is the winner. Let's go farther back here. Outdoor Vibes. So here we have more color saturation, but it feels a little bit unnatural compared to the Vintage Charm. Let's see what our others were here. The Vivid Natural. That doesn't look bad. It looks sort of antique historic like but i think that i'm going to stick with the vintage charm so i'm going to use this download it but what we're going to find when we open this image up is that it's quite low in resolution so when we zoom in here we're going to start to get pixelated pretty quickly so that takes away from the point of us doing our upscaling so what we're going to do is i'm going to copy all of this and go back and paste it here on our image and I'm going to use the transform tool I'm just going to snap it up into that corner snap that down to here so now we have a color but pixelated version on top of our high def version so let's go ahead and change it from normal to color for the layer mode so that's going to hold on to only the color information and not the pixelization. So let's just prove this here. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see here are their nice colored faces. Here's before, here's after. Here's the pixelated, here's the high resolution version. So there we go, folks. This is our end result. What did we end up with? I think that this is a great looking shot. It does still have some historic looking quality to it, but the skin tones look quite natural. I'm going to admit that their faces do have a bit of a painted feel to them, but in terms of the overall effect and the overall job, I think that we've done well here today. So let me know what you think in the comments. And again, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more content. And with that, I will see you in the next time.